Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Thelma with The Right Stuff, and this is my daughter Kayla. We are going to be bringing you a true crime story today from here in San Antonio that happened in 2018. On Charles Roundtree, nicknamed Chop Chop. In some articles it's just Chop, but his family actually called him Chop Chop. Uh, I don't know, but I think that's a really cute nickname. He was an 18-year-old African-American young man that got shot here in San Antonio by a SAPD officer named Casanova. Okay, so on October 17th, 2018, Casanova and his partner were watching a drug house on the west side where Roundtree and another young man, Snowden, and a young woman were, were at, um, and it was a known drug house, and they were watching it for illegal activity because they knew mm -hmm. stuff happened there later on it was found out that at this this house the police had been called from january 1st 2018 to october 17th 2018 that the police had been called more than 50 times to this location so they were very familiar with this house very familiar with this home um and so on this event, they were actually sitting outside of the home, him and his partner, one in the front and one in the back, and they were watching the home. When a woman flagged down Officer Casanova saying that she was selling menudo, which is a Mexican soup, on Facebook, and someone in the neighborhood had ordered some, so she was dropping it off. She had apparently parked in front of Snowden's aunt's home, and Snowden was not happy about it, had came out, asked her very rude-like, supposedly, to leave, went back in the house, came outside, started another altercation with the woman, and then proceeded to beat up the woman's husband in the driver's seat. Snowden goes back into the home, and the woman flags down Officer Casanova. Now, in... The body cam footage, because there is, and I will link it below in the comments, there are two different views of the body, body camera. So there is Casanova's full time from the time of the incident where he starts speaking to the woman all the way through the incident that happens. And then there's another video where they have his partner and him and his body camera side by side so you can see all the actual event that happened at the house. Okay. Um, she says, well, I was going to call 911, but I flagged you down. So there is no 911 call from this woman. Okay. She wanted to press charges from Snow on Snowden for coming and assaulting her husband, who does not speak English, which isn't a bad thing, but he doesn't speak English. So he couldn't actually talk to the police officer. Yes. The woman was translating everything. Mm -hmm. Officer Casanova tells her, okay, well, we know this house. I'm pretty sure I know who you're talking about. Let me go speak to him. Find out what's going on, whether he cooperates or whether he doesn't, whether he says he did it. No. He says whether he says he did it or whether he doesn't, I will come back to you and give you a case number. Okay. So he fully intends on coming back to this woman, fully intends on, you know, going up, speaking to him and coming back, nothing happening and giving this woman a case number. Okay. So he gets in the car, he waits for his partner which it's kind of a, a little bit of time, which is odd because his partner is supposed to be at like right around the block, kind of yeah. in the alley, watching the back side of this house, but it still takes a little bit for his partner to get there, which I found a little odd. Yeah. And so they start walking up to the house. They open the gate. It is a chain link fence. Mm -hmm. They open the gate. They see a gentleman sitting on the porch. They ask the man like, hey, do you live here? Which is odd because you've been out to this house a million like over yeah. 50 times he says no i'm just getting something to eat and he like you can see food in his lap and he's like eating as they're coming up uh -huh. and he tells him well take your hat off he takes his hat off and he was like oh yeah i don't know you and then he officer casanova proceeds to walking up the steps and the way that the porch is so you walk up the steps here's the whole side of the house and then the door is right here okay so he walks up the steps the whole time his body camera is facing the, the side, the window. Like he's walking and then he's sidestepping to oh, the door. Oh, like he's walking this way instead of yeah, walking Yeah, instead that way. of okay. walking straight. From his body camera, you see the camera kind of shake a little bit where he knocks on the door. Mm -hmm. And then the door opens up and you see Snowden sitting on the couch. 
a female sitting between them, and then you can't see him, but Roundtree is off past your view on the left-hand side. Okay. Snowden gets up, but before I, before I start this, there are some key things that I think you should know. Okay. It is dark outside, and it is very bright inside the home. Okay. Plus, the officer has a flashlight pointed into the home. Okay. So, I'll explain to you why those are important in a minute. Officer Casanova says, uh, hey guys, what's up? What are y'all doing? Something like that. A, a normal, like, like I'm, a, I'm a friend. Yeah, like I'm a friend just greeting you. He never, never announces he is a police officer. He never announces, hey, I'm here to talk to so-and-so about an incident that happened. Nothing. Question. So Snowden stands up. In the process of taking two steps to him, he says, hey, he says, who the F are you? Snowden? Snowden. Okay. Okay. And you can see, and this is important too, you can see his shirt, you can see his boxers, and like so many guys out there, he's sagging, and so then you can see his pants. Okay. You see his hand on his side where part of his hand is in his pants, which kind of makes his hand look like it's like this, but you can clearly tell that it's his hand. Yeah. And then his other hand, he's talking with. Okay. He sees the he sees that it's a cop after he's taken two steps and turns to run. Okay. Okay. We have a question. Was Snowden African American too? Yes. Okay. Snowden take like you can see him taking off to run. Okay. You hear Officer Casanova's. Let me see your effing hands. He's drawn his gun already. It is pointed into the house. Mind you, Casanova is not in the home. Okay. The door is, the big heavy door is open, but there's a, a screen door that is burglar bars and there's no actual screen. Okay. Okay. And so into this home, he fires two shots. Okay. As Snowden is running away, he fires these two shots. Okay, what happened to the girl and Roundtree? Where are they at? Like, they're still on the couch. Okay. <laughs> okay. And so as Snowden takes off, Casanova fires two shots. He hits Snowden. He grazes Snowden in the bottom, in the buttocks. And that round hits Roundtree in the chest. Okay. And the other one, the other round, I'm assuming just doesn't hit anything because the girl doesn't get hit. Okay. Snowden continues to run towards the back of the house. Casanova says, Shots fired, shots fired. Mind you, the only person who fired anything was Casanova. They run back out of the house. There is a dog that's in the yard that's barking and trying to attack the police officers. They don't shoot the dog. For those of y'all that are worried about that. <laughs> they don't shoot the dog. They're trying to get somebody to come and get the dog and they're back at their cars, not going back into the home. I don't know if Casanova did, I don't know if he knew that he, shot. That he had hit somebody or not but you can hear in the background them asking for a paramedic and saying somebody was shot why is it important that it was light in the house and it was dark outside because when it's bright in a room and it's dark outside of that room you cannot see outside, outside. so whenever you look out your peephole and it's dark outside and it's bright inside you can't see who's out there yes okay so that means Snowden had no idea that it was a cop that was at his door. Mm -hmm. Wait, wait, wait. But who opened the door if Snowden was on the couch? So this is kind of where the controversy comes in. When you see his partner's video body cam footage, Casanova's which is really, partner? yes, okay. which is really important. You see Casanova knock on the door hard. And then it opened, but there's nobody at that door. It looks like Casanova opens the door because he knocks hard. Okay. So it looks like he goes and opens it. Oh, like probably like the wind or something? No, like he knocks and then turns the knob and opens it. Oh, wait. That's what it looks like in the video. So you guys tell me what you think about the, the two YouTube videos that, you're, that I'm going to link below and tell me what you think about how it's kind of presented because it's going to be the full video unedited of what it actually occurred like i said 
None of the people inside the house knew that the cops were outside. They did not show up with their lights on. They did not have sirens on or anything else. So nobody knew that they were cops. Snowden gets arrested mm -hmm. for supposedly and is charged with felony in possession of a firearm because Casanova said Snowden had a nine millimeter that he saw a nine millimeter in his waist. Why is that important? Because the gun that they found at the back of the house was not a nine millimeter. So there's not been a nine millimeter found at the house. So all of this occurs. Snowden gets arrested. Roundtree passes away. Does he pass away before he gets medical attention, during or after? Snowden or Roundtree passes away, if I'm not mistaken, I could be wrong, guys, passes away in the home. Okay. You watch the video, it takes a long time for anybody to even go back into the home once Casanova has fired shots into the home. Yeah, wait, where was his partner this whole time? Was Behind him. Like, behind him, like, Casanova? Behind okay. him, like, standing right behind him. That's why their body camera is side by side. Okay. Their body video. A lot of misunderstanding happens between what is told to the public and what really happened. So, Roundtree's family is not happy about that at all. Oh, because the news told... The news made it seem like Roundtree is the one who had the gun and that's the reason he got shot. But... Which wasn't true. Because originally, that's what the chief said. Roundtree's family was not happy about the way that the incident was portrayed in the media at all. Which I can understand, why would you get on and give a press release before the information is actually confirmed? Yeah, like you actually know something, yeah. With all of that being said, that's the incident that happened. Mm -hmm. Snowden, of course, goes to, goes to jail and is awaiting trial. While Snowden is awaiting trial... DA brings charges against Casanova. He is put on paid leave. Casanova's case goes to the grand jury. With all of the evidence, they said that Casanova was in full right to fire into the home. But how? <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. What Casanova did was not correct. In my mind, it wasn't correct. And this is coming from a combat veteran. Like, I've been overseas. I've been to war. I know what it is like to be in situations like that. Mm -hmm. I still say what he did was wrong. One, if you have been to the house, that means you know what to expect going into the house. You know what kind of environment it is. And if you're going up there laxy-daisy, like, oh, it's nothing, then you obviously weren't too scared. Question. Did Casanova have his uniform on? Like, did they? Yeah, have they were in full uniform. He was in an SAPD officer so then police vehicle. They came over there without their sirens on, without anything, and just knocked on the door and said, "Hey, what's up?" Okay, okay. To me, that part doesn't make sense if they were in their full uniform, because didn't we say that Snowden was said like, "Who are you?" Well, again, that's why it was important that it was bright in the house yeah. and it was dark outside. Oh, yeah. Like, it's yeah. nighttime outside see. because you can't see anything. So it looks like they're just wearing all black. No, it shit. doesn't even, you can't see anything. Yeah, that makes sense, yeah. So they don't know that it's a police officer. As he's getting closer, as he's taking those two steps, then he can see. Yeah. That's why he takes off running. Yeah, because he sees that it's cold. Okay. There is no reason whatsoever, and I will say this time and time again, there is no justifiable in any situation whatsoever you should be able to say, I'm fine with shooting somebody in the back. This man was running from you. Y'all can try and argue with me all you want, but the man got shot in the butt. You can't get shot in the butt if you're facing somebody. I feel like no matter what, it, if you get shot from behind, it's just not fair. It's not. You're, it's not fair. You are completely defenseless. He, like, okay, if you would have busted through the door and took off running after him, fine. Whatever. But deadly force was not needed in that scenario at all. Yeah. Well, yeah, that too. But also, if he thought that he had a gun, he could have been, like, put your hands up or something like that. Well, he did. He said, let me see your effing hands. No. Pop, pop. Okay. Yeah. As he's saying, let me see your effing hands, Snowden is, like, taking off running. Yeah. That makes sense. 
So just because he didn't stop doesn't mean because you have your gun pointed at him, shoot. So why is this a huge issue? So three days after this verdict that they're not going to take it to trial, there's not enough evidence that Casanova did nothing wrong. Snowden is found not guilty okay. of having a gun, which is the correct. Yeah, that's that's the correct. Well, to me, I could, that is the correct verdict in that case. But the problem comes in. How is Snowden found not guilty of not having a gun, but Casanova is found in full right to shoot into the home because he thought there was a gun? Yeah. Well, I would say that it would make sense if he was found guilty if the gun wasn't registered that they found, but they didn't get it. It's their home. You could have But he, it, it, and I, could, I fully could understand that. Yeah. If... Casanova hadn't said, I saw him with a 9mm. Yeah. The gun that was found wasn't a 9mm. I know, I'm just saying, like, I feel like that's the only thing that they could charge them with. Oh, well, there was a gun in the house, even though it wasn't the gun. Well, not only that, it didn't have his fingerprints on it or anything. So was it the woman? So gun? Snowden never touched the gun that was found in the house. Mm, okay. So now we're back to, you have an innocent 18-year-old african-american child once again just sitting in a house yeah. the only thing that this child this 18 year old kid because you're 18 i get it like you're in a you're legally an adult but you're still a kid at 18 your brain is still developing so his only crime was being at the wrong place at the wrong time I still feel like there's a lot of details that are missing from yeah. that story. I and I like feel like the reason that they just went along with what this lady is saying was because the house that she said he went back into was a drug house. So one of the things that came up in the article about Texas law is it is almost 100% in favor of a cop. There comes a point where you have to say, when do we change the law protecting those who are supposed to protect them? I feel like that sh law shouldn't even have been made, honestly. Well, no, I feel like there are probably scenarios where it should, but right. But now, in the day and age that we're living in, in states that have laws that protect police officers and people who are allowed to use deadly force, those laws are getting construed and twisted to where they're kind of giving them free reign over anything. Yeah, they kind of have too much power. Exactly. And with so much power comes great responsibility and the people that, that are using this responsibility are neglecting it. Even in the military, we're taught, you don't shoot into innocent bystanders. Yeah. You don't. Like, you don't shoot into a house where there are two in, and you're shooting towards those two innocent people. Yeah. Like, I know as a police officer, you're not taught to do that. Yeah. He's not showing an absolute threat to you. He's not brandishing a gun, pointing it at you. He's not holding them hostage. He's not doing anything that you would rightfully think like this deserves a man to be shot at. And so this young, this young man left behind an entire family fighting very hard for him. For his name to be justified. Because even in the media... Like, this is a young, again, this is a young 18-year-old kid. And in the media, you're portraying him as... This horrible person, I feel like. Well, as this, like, oh, he kind of deserved it. It's kind of what I feel like the media is portraying him as. Or like, oh, like, he shouldn't have been there. Yeah, that's what Like, if he wouldn't have been there, then no. No, 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 no. He was there waiting on a friend. Yeah. It's more like one of those things where the media is like, well, he's an African-American and he should have known that that house was a drug house, so if he didn't do drugs and he was as innocent as the parents say that he should He wouldn't have, have ever there. been there. And yeah. I don't agree with that. Don't get me wrong. I don't think you should go to drug houses and just chill out and hang. <laughs> I'm not saying that. But I am saying just because somebody makes a choice to have a friend that lives at a drug house mm -hmm. and you are going and visiting them and you're waiting for somebody to pick you up doesn't mean that if shots get fired, hey, that's that's fully what you get. No, that's not what you get. That's not like, oh, well, you know, that could have happened because of where you were at. No, that's not, that's not the way that this works. That doesn't make it okay. Stupid, because I feel like that's stereotypical. Or, that's a stereotype. But I feel like if it was a white person, they would have done something completely different. They would have portrayed him as this horrible He wouldn't have person. ever been shot. 
I can't explain to you how much this needs to change. Okay, we're sitting here at this moment in time while this video is being portrayed. America are super upset that a white woman intentionally went to the Capitol, intentionally intended to riot the Capitol. They intended to do damage at the Capitol. All because and she got shot and she got killed. And all, all these people are so upset. Oh my gosh, I can't believe y'all did that. I can't... There's so many people are upset that she got killed, but we're not upset that this 18 year old young man sitting on a couch doing absolutely nothing but waiting on a friend. But if it was a black was woman, killed. it wouldn't even, I mean, if it was a black girl, she wouldn't even been on social media at all. There are people who don't understand that, that fear, that don't understand what it means to not know if you're going home because somebody who has raised their right hand and said, I swear to protect the people of this town or of this city or of this county or of the state, and they're not gonna protect you because you're black. Why did I pick this case? Do you know why? Because of what's going on in today's world? Yes. And because I am mixed? Yes. Those are a couple of the reasons. But a big reason is because this family is currently awaiting a wrongful death suit against the city of San Antonio and the police department, which I fully feel like they're owed. I, Casanova is still on duty. So I feel like one thing, every African American in San Antonio needs to understand that this man is still out there. He still has a badge, still has a gun. So you need, like, be mindful that this man is still here in San Antonio on the police force that the entire country has as a whole, the media and the government will start to sweep it under the rug. Mm -hmm. And this is one of those things that has repeatedly through history been swept under the rug. And we can't allow, we can't allow this election results. We can't allow Trump. We can't allow the Republicans. We can't allow Texas succeeding for the United States. We can't allow any topic to to put this on the back burner, to go in front of this. And don't get me wrong, I get the whole Trump and the whole Capitol, that it's an issue. It was terrorism here in the United States by American citizens. I fully believe that, that every single one of them that stormed on the Capitol should be considered a terrorist. I do believe that Donald Trump should be considered a terrorist. You do not light that fire and then not serve your consequences for it. But let me tell you, if Black Lives Matter, protests would have busted through the Capitol like that, they'd all been dead. Nobody is understanding that. Nobody is seeing that. There's so much out there about, oh, well, you know, the Democrats are so upset that, uh, or there's so much hate towards Donald Trump that they're not seeing that Twitter and Facebook censored him. Screw censoring him. How about you're not seeing that that, even in that huge instance, there's still racism. So that is why I picked this, this case. Cause this to me, this is important and it does, it no longer, I refuse to allow it to be swept underneath the rug. Like it can't, it cannot happen again. I, I also believe that there are people who don't think that this is in San Antonio, where the African Americans in San Antonio are terrified for their life. You need to understand that and it needs to stop. I want to encourage to continue to do the amazing things that you guys are doing. To, coming together as a community, come fighting for equality, fighting for your voice, fighting for your right to live, fighting for your right to drive down the street. Like just fighting for your right to be considered a human being. Like I I really want to encourage the non-Caucasian communities to continue to fight. Because we're gonna wrap up this video and I hope that as a community we can come together and we can help this family with their process that they're going through. I gotta let you guys go. <laughs> She's not happy. So I will let you guys go. This is